I'm Zach. I'm the creator of Gravity View. Thank you for joining me today. Floaty is having a party on the space station, and he's got a forum on his website where people can RSVP. We're going to use Gravity View to display a list of people who are coming to his party. So let's get started. Let's say I have a form in Gravity Forms, where I'm collecting a list of people who are going to be attending an event. So let's take a look at some of these entries. And you can see we have collected a bunch of people already, uh, and we want to display these people on the front end of our website. Let's first take a look at the form. You can see the form is a Gravity Forms form. It has a name, email, phone number, address, etc. Let's create a view now. Go to Views, create a new view, and then enter the name of the view, in this case, Space Station Guest List. Because we already have a form in Gravity Forms, we select it as the data source. Now what that does is it makes the entries connect to this view. So whenever a new entry gets submitted to the form, it'll be available to this view. A view can be displayed using different layouts, and I'm going to choose to display these entries in a table layout. You can also do it in a listing layout, but there are additional layouts available in uh, different packages of Gravity View, including maps and data tables. Now that I've selected the layout type, I have a blank view configuration screen available to me. There's an upper and a lower widgets area, and then the entries area, where each entry gets displayed, and we can configure how that looks. To do so, I'm going to add the fields from the entry that I want to display. I click Add Field, then I select First Name, and then the Email field. Now to get a handle on what this might look like, let's save a draft and open the Views link in a new window. And you see the first name and the email of each of the entries is displayed. Let's fill out some more details. So you can see the fields get populated with the entry data and phone numbers are clickable so that if you're on a mobile phone or a uh, phone connected desktop or laptop, that will actually place a call if you click it. And email field is automatically linked as an email and It'll generate an email if you click that. And the first name is displayed. But what if we want to show more details about a person, not on this main page, but on a single entry page? Well, with that, we can use the single entry configuration tab. Now to do that, we're going to need to link to the single entry. I want to have the first name of the person be the link to the single entry. So I will click on the field settings icon and then click on the link to single entry checkbox. I save the view and I refresh, and then lo and behold, the name becomes a link to the single entry. Now let's configure the single entry layout. I switch to the single entry tab of the view configuration, and then I can add additional information, like a full name and a bio, and why not a photo too? Let's also add an edit entry link, which will allow the entry to be edited from the front of the website. All right, that looks good. And you can see that there's an edit entry link and we can click on that to edit the entire entry from the front end of your site. No going into the back end. All the fields are available. All field types are supported. But what happens if I want to only show certain fields in edit entry? Well, that's possible too. Click Add Field, and if you only want to make the name editable, you can click the Name field, save it, and then refresh the Edit Entry page, and you'll see only the name is now editable. I'm liking how this is looking, but I want to limit the number of people that are shown on each screen. I want to have multiple pages of results instead of one big page of results. So I scroll down, 
and I can change the number of entries per page to, let's say, 10 entries per page. What do you do now with pagination? I want links from the first page to the second page, and so on. Well, that's where widgets come in. You click Add Widget, and you can add page links, and also pagination info, which shows you're on page one of two and uh, showing entry one through 10. Now the pagination info widget is in the same box as the page links widget, but I wanna move that around. I can drag and drop it into a different zone and then save it. And you can see now the pagination info is on the left and the page links are on the right, just like in the view configuration screen. So how do you search entries? Well, that's easy using the search bar widget. Click add widget, then click the search bar, and then click the gear icon to open the widget settings. The default is to search everything, but in this case, I'd like to only search the name of the guest. I select the name field from the drop down list, and I can customize the label to say guest name as the search label. On the front end, the search bar now appears with a guest name search. I like to search for a guest name Sandra, so I enter Sandra into the search bar. I click search. There are two entries with two Sandras. Perfect. So that's just a quick introduction to what you can do with Gravity View. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to joining you in other videos. Thank you.